Okay, this is Graham at Factory Farm. I'm on the CEB production team, and last week I took uh, seven soil samples from around Factory Farm. I labeled them all, and now we are testing some of our mixes. So I took these two samples, and I mixed them together. So we've got about, if you can see, that's about a... Uh, 80% fine sand, and then that's about 80% clay. So I took 70% fine sand and mixed it with 30% clay, and I got this brick, which I've already done some strength testing on, as you can see. And uh, I'll just give you an idea of how strong this is. This is a handmade, handmade brick. I'm gonna break it. We're gonna try to break it. Now that's a seat. That's a compressed earth block right there. And I just made that crack there. So that just shows you. I'm guessing this is a either a lime stabilized clay brick or just pure clay from uh, behind Hab Lab. That's pretty strong for a handmade brick. We're going to try to break it one more time. Oh, there it goes. Oh, as you can see, it's still not dry on the inside. Here's another test brick. Pretty hard for a handmade brick. So we'll let that dry some more and then do another strength test. This is a, <clears throat> a homemade cement brick that I tried to make with uh, sand, lime, and wood ash. Um, it didn't do so well. As you can see, it's very crumbly. Uh, I would like to hear some suggestions on how to make these... Um, stronger and we're trying to uh, our intention is to come up with some kind of mixture that uh, cures into a waterproof brick that we can use for retaining walls, driveways anything exposed to the weather another intention is to um develop some kind of fire brick that we can use for making ovens and rocket stoves. So if anyone has any ideas on admixtures for cement or fire fire clay or sources on that, that would be much appreciated. So yeah, thanks a lot.